Starbucks brand has risen above the initial firestorm on social media by remaining true to their brand with their recent response that the red cups are meant to be a blank canvas encouraging customers to tell their Christmas stories in their own way. And for the most part, Starbucks has remained above the fray. They're still selling their Christmas blend. They're still selling advent calendars. They're still selling other Christmas related products in their stores. So I think the bottom line is that this was a graphic design choice, not religious persecution. Not just six months ago, we were talking about their Race Together campaign, where they were writing names on coffee cups and asking people to have dialogue in their stores about race relations. While that campaign somewhat fell flat, it was indicative of Starbucks' overall effort to get people talking. My recommendation to Starbucks on this one is to sit back, relax, and enjoy all the media coverage that they're getting. I think the only backlash is going to be against the ridiculous consumers that are trying to even make this into an issue. The red cup for Starbucks is not going to have long-term consequences on their brand because of the brand loyalty. You may remember Starbucks actually raised prices this fall, uh, but we're still paying $2.50 for a cup of coffee. So do I think that this Starbucks cup issue will affect the brand long-term? Uh, absolutely not. I think um, consumers, quite frankly, really don't care. Um, and I think over the years, the brand has built up a lot of equity uh, with consumers and a lot of goodwill that will certainly help. People getting upset over the color of a cup really shouldn't overshadow all the work that Starbucks has done with their foundation, their environmental initiatives, their ethical sourcing, and so on. What people need to remember is that Starbucks is serving coffee around the globe to many different audiences, serving many different religious needs. Uh, we are a multicultural country and uh, we respect each community and celebrate things like Happy Diwali, Happy Holy, uh, Eid, and Chinese New Year, etc. So peace and love and making the world a better place to share and grow should be their motto. And what they've said ties back to the company's core value system, which encourages inclusiveness and diversity and kindness, which frankly is exactly what the holidays are all about. And in the bigger scheme of things, it's paying much more attention to its employees and benefits and helping lead the way for other companies about what they can and should be doing. So will the move hurt the Starbucks brand? Hell no. Now, if they never served another pumpkin spice latte, a revolution would ensue, literally.